In today's video, we're going to take a look at the three main cooking styles for your barbecue and when you would use each of them. Hi everyone, James Mackay here from Barbecue.com and welcome back to another episode of Barbecue Know How. And today we're diving into the three main ways you would cook on your barbecue. There are three main styles of cooking that can be used across any type of barbecue. So we have direct, indirect and low and slow. There are a few different other styles but those are the main ones we're going to focus on today. So in this video we'll give a brief overview of each of those styles and then in future episodes we're going to take a look at how to set up your barbecue for those styles of cooking. So we'll start off with the most common setup and that is direct cooking or otherwise known as grilling. Direct cooking is placing your food directly over the heat source. So if you're in a charcoal barbecue you would place your food on the cooking grate directly over the charcoal or in a gas barbecue you place your food directly over a lit burner. So this style of cooking is generally used for smaller cuts of meat such as steaks, burgers, sausages, things that will cook quickly without burning on the outside before they're fully cooked in the center. To use a more common analogy for it, anything that you would cook in a frying pan or directly under the grill in your oven, uh, you would use direct cooking on your barbecue to cook those meats. So the second setup is indirect cooking. So on a charcoal barbecue, this would involve putting your coals to one side placing your food on the opposite side of the cooking grate and putting the lid on and that will build up the ambient heat inside the lid and cook your food. On a gas barbecue you would turn on one burner or two burners and leave the third one off and place your food above that burner that isn't lit. So this style of cooking is perfect for larger cuts of meat that would otherwise burn on the outside before they're fully cooked in the middle. So if you think that something like a roast chicken or a roast beef or pork loin if you were to place that over a direct heat, it would be burnt on the outside before it was ever anywhere near cooked in the center. So cooking foods like that in an indirect heat allows you to control the rate at which they cook. So you cook for slightly longer, ensuring they're fully cooked in the center without getting that direct heat burning the outside. If you're not sure when you would use indirect heat, just think anything that you would cook in your oven in the kitchen, you would use indirect heat on the barbecue. You can also use a mixture of direct and indirect heat. So if you have your coals banked to one side and your uh, indirect zone on the opposite side, you can sear your food over the coals and then move it to the indirect side of the barbecue, um, therefore mixing both styles of cooking. The third and final way of cooking that we're going to look at today is low and slow. Low and slow is basically an indirect heat but at a very low temperature. So you're not cooking at normal roasting temperatures, you would be cooking uh, at a much lower temperature and therefore cooking the food for a longer period of time. So low and slow is traditionally used for tougher cuts of meat such as brisket or pork shoulder that need to be cooked for a long period of time uh, at a low temperature to break down all the fats and connective tissues. Um, you would still use an indirect uh, setup so you're not placing the food over the heat source, you're placing it opposite the heat source. However, some of the setups are slightly different but we will get into them in a future video. So knowing the difference between those three styles of cooking will allow you to look at the food you want to cook and choose the best method of cooking that food to get the best results. Direct cooking or grilling would traditionally be used for smaller cuts of meat that will cook quickly and cook all the way through without burning on the outside. The indirect method then would be used for larger cuts of meat that you would traditionally put in the oven in your house. Low and slow would be used then for tougher cuts of meat that are traditionally braised to break down all those connective tissues and fats. So the low and slow method is perfect for cooking that style of food. So over the next few videos, we'll break down those three styles of cooking and how you would set up your barbecue for each of them, starting with direct cooking in the next episode. I'll leave a link in the description for an article on the website that discusses these three styles of cooking and goes into a little bit more detail about what they are and when you would use them. So I hope that gives you a good understanding of the three main styles of cooking on your barbecue and when you might use them. 
Uh, if it did, please give the video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe for future videos. The Thermapen giveaway is still running. I'll leave the links below for details on how you can enter that and I'll see you in the next episode.